Hi everyone, welcome back to Simply Mara Marina. And if you guys are new, welcome to Simply Mara Marina. In today's video, um, obviously it's not your typical budgeting video, um, your typical Erin Condren related video. And that is because um, I really want to start branching out and filming things that I really enjoy to watch on YouTube. Um, and so with that being said, this is the Cloth and Paper April subscription box. So cloth and paper, they um, they obviously have like planner inserts, dividers, they have like sticky notes, um, little notepads, things like that for you to be very productive. It's also super minimal. So all the planner inserts are super minimal. They have accessories and they basically let allow you to build your own planner based on their inserts and their agendas and, you know, use the accessories that they have that are very minimal to make your agenda, your planner, the most functional for you. And so there's kind of a funny, not really a funny story, but a story why I got this. So I went ahead and pre-ordered the Smooth Black A5 size agenda with the black rings and I was like okay cool let me just go ahead and get this so that way when it comes in July June or July I will have some things going into it so this box is a pretty good value it is a $38 value but I from what I've seen from past months um you do definitely get your money's worth in these boxes so I was like okay let me just get this box and go from there but then since I'm such an indecisive person I went onto the cloth and paper um, buy D stash and sell group and I was able to sell my planner that I haven't received yet because I was so unsure on if I wanted to use the a5 system um, so yeah um, it seems like a really great concept, but honestly, you guys, this time of year when all the new planners are coming out, you just don't know what to do. And if you are a true planner person who loves stationery and planner products, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, this is the cloth and paper, um, April subscription box. I'm going to go ahead. I haven't looked into it. All I did was, um, take a knife and just, you know, cut that there. So we're going to go ahead and open this together. And what I'm going to do is actually take it out the box. This is like wrapped really nicely. All right. The box here. Even their box was super minimal. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I see some pretty stuff. Let's put this here to the side. We'll actually put it right here. All right, so it, this is a card that says what's inside. I'm actually going to leave it over here on this side here and then start with this. So this is a nice little card. Oh, this would be nice to just to clip into any planner honestly and they do have different options they have like you know a5 six six ring punched a5 like no punched half letter so you have a ton of different options and um yeah so this you can literally use a paper clip and clip it into anything it says normality is a paved road it is comfortable to walk on but no flowers grow vincent van gogh ooh. hold on to your vision do what you want to be known for Remember to breathe. I like this. And see, it's a very simple card, but the font is super pretty. It's a very minimal, it's something super small and minimal, but with such great meaning. So this is an item. I don't know if this is like included. Actually, I'll just take a peek over here and see if it is included or not. I think this is just something that comes with it. So I have like a TikTok song stuck in my head. That's what that was. So we have this here um, and I'm gonna put that to the side and let's go ahead and open her up. This is like, packaging is really pretty. Wow. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's put this back here. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I see here are these things called mob dots and let's see what they say here on this mob oh mob shaped stickers perfect for color coding five shapes there's circles hexagons squares and tape that are rectangles and corners that are triangles so i'm going to go ahead and open this up here just to kind of see what they look like again this is like my first cloth and paper order that i've received like in person okay oh these are nice I have this thing where I always smell paper and it's really weird because paper like this usually smells like a shower curtain, but I swear I smell like pineapples. <laughs> so we have the mauve dots, mauve hexagons, mauve squares. 
It's like super minimal. I love this. The mauve tape, which is just rectangles, and then the mauve corners. And so this mauve is more of like a pinky purple, but it's a neutral pinky purple. So I really, oh, look at that. And it even has like the number sheeted it. So we have one, two, that's really neat. So we have the mauve hexagon, mauve hexagon uh, paper stickers. So that's what these look like. I'll take one off for you guys right there. And then for Cyber's reference, I will go ahead and just, I have an Erin Condren little notepad here and I will go ahead and put it down. So that is what it looks like for size comparison. So basically your average, your average dot. So I really like these and whether I decide to do, you know, cloth and paper, these will still, you know, I can still use these for anything. So I really do like these. All right, so back on the mob train, we have these, and these are the mob sticky notes. The little card I got says, perfect for tackling into your inbox dashboard or pinning notes into your workspace wall or corkboard. There are 50 sheets in here, and Bic makes them, so you know they're going to be good. And let's just take them out and see, even though we all know what post-its are, but for me, I'm gonna have to rip this open. Um, for me, I'm not too picky. They feel a little bit thicker than regular, um, like regular post-it. So yeah, and they match these guys perfectly. So that's pretty neat. I like these. This is cool. And I love post-its. So can't have enough post-its, honestly. So we have this guy here. So I did see a sneak peek of this item here, you guys. And when I saw it, I was so excited for it. Um, it is, um, according to the sheet that I have here, it is called the Message Notepad. And it says, a nice and neat little space to keep track of notes, emails, phone calls. And there's 50 sheets in here. So basically, you guys, this is just your traditional kind of style of a notepad. But um, with that being said, it is super, again, minimal and clean. Um, and it's not busy. These are like packaged, like you see how hard this is to get out of the package. Everything is packaged super well, which, I mean, I really do appreciate. So... Here is the message pad. So it has importance, um, low, medium, high, and then you can just write and it has the cloth and paper branding there. Um, something that I think I might do, it'd be really cool to have this for a day that I'm super busy at home or a day that I'm super busy at work and just kind of clip it into my planner um, if I want to be able to just toss it out at the end of the day. Sorry about that. If I just want to be able to toss it out at the end of the day. And so what I could do is I could, you know, color coordinate. So I can use... Um, some different kinds of markers. Let's say if I have, um, I don't know, different kinds of highlighters that I have. I don't have my mild liners right next to me right now, so I can't show you. But let's say if I want to do low, let's say, blue, uh, let's say I want to do um, green, yellow, and then red, or whatever, you know, it might be. Oh my gosh, those are stop sign colors. Stop light color, that's funny. So let's say I want to do, um, you know, uh, green, yellow, and then red. And I can go ahead and highlight those ones by priority and then kind of keep this for the week or for the day and kind of go about it that way. So there's 50 sheets in here. So it's really amazing. And again, this paper is very, very nice paper. And also keep in mind, I am um, an avid Erin Condren user. And so this, I'm very particular with my paper, but this paper right here is, it's very good. It's not gritty like the Erin Condren paper. It is more of a smooth paper, but it's still thick. So I really do like this. Okay, you guys, so the next thing I have here is, what does this say? This is, um, what are you? Recommendations inserts. These are the recommendations inserts. It says, we all need something to look forward to, right? Create a list of things you want to enjoy when you are on the clock, even if it's a couple months from now. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so this is kind of where I wish I would have gotten it unpunched, but you guys, I didn't know, I still don't know what in the world I am going to do. So I can, do, you know, you can, you don't have to, you know, have the punch and you guys, it's so hard to get out. <laughs> um, you don't have to, you know, have the planner to use this, but for me, I don't like seeing the holes on the sides. Um, so actually I could probably even cover that up with washi. So. Um, we have a list here, and I'll try to hold it up for you guys a little bit. It says to watch. So shows, cinemas, channels to read, 
books, articles, and stories, to listen, music, podcasts, audiobooks, to make crafts and hobbies, and then, oh my gosh, even food, okay, I see, um, to eat, food, restaurants, recipes, to see, live events, concerts, museums, to go, places, and sightseeings, and then to learn, new skills, languages, and good habits. Okay, so... I really like this and you know what I didn't think I was gonna like the a5 size because I have never really had like a planner like that but I feel like now I'm gonna kind of regret not um, <laughs> not having um, my uh, beautiful black rings all black agenda but anyways so this is really great so I'm putting a pen here just to show you the size comparison and actually I do have an Erin Condren folio here. I can probably pull out one of these guys and measure. Okay, so if you guys have the Erin Condren Petite Planners, it is about the length of the page. So, man, if I knew a size was this size, this would be perfect for my purse. I am kicking myself in the head right now, but we have to deal with it, right? <laughs> and I think that's it for the, um, the pre-order as well. So we'll see what happens. I am definitely going to keep these regardless on if I decided to do the A5, whether I decide not to, because this is something really great to have all of the time. So I'm going to just count these really quickly and see how many come in here because it didn't say. No, it didn't say. So let me just do that really quickly. So there are 15 sheets in here and so I think this is a really great thing. This could even be something to do quarterly, like a quarterly goals and then like clip it into your planner with washi tape or a paper clip uh, like in the monthly view and transfer it from month to month. I think this would be really cool to do that if you don't have the, um, the ring system. So this is pretty neat and I really do like this. Again, paper quality is amazing. Okay you guys, so this is the next item here. This is called, what is it called? The Half Memo Inserts in Gray. And it says, add a detailed to-do list for urgent slash important tasks for your planner with these inserts. The color header allows for a quick and easy access. So we have these right here. These are similar to like the Happy Planner ones. I don't think Erin Condren makes these. Um, but again, these are really great for, for anything. Again, I do wish I didn't get the holes in it because I am so indecisive. But regardless on if I I decide to keep um, to dive into an A5 planner again. Um, I do have the option because I have this now, but also this would just be good to do a quick little to-do list and I can like leave this in a book. I can take this on the go with me. I can fold it up and put it in my wallet for groceries, things like that. So I'm not going to open this up because it's pretty self-explanatory. It is dot grid, has cloth and paper there. It doesn't say how many sheets are in here, but I'm just going to assume maybe 15. That kind of seems like the standard from, from what I've... Um, what I did earlier. So we've got this guy here. So super nice for there. Um, and I'm actually going to get into things that people go crazy over for cloth and paper, which is their dashboards. Um, so this is one of them here. I'm actually going to open it up before I show you because it's kind of clear. Um, I need to find, see if I can find a darker backing um, in my desk somewhere for this. I just use an Erin Condren item. Um, so that it's kind of like on a thicker piece of vellum and it says morning mindset. So let's see what this card that's included says. It says morning mindset half dashboard. Start each day on the right foot by asking yourself these questions. Positive mind equals positive results. So this is pretty awesome. So morning mindset again, got the holes here. That's what, you know, what I customized my box to be. And let's see if I can get this a little bit closer. There you go. So number one, what is the big picture for today? Two, who am I looking forward to talking or seeing or seeing or talking? Number three, what project will I work on today that I will be, that I am proud to be a part of? Number four, what healthy choices can I make for my body today? Um, five, what value will I add to my colleagues or team today? And six, what will I do if I'm faced with a problem today? So this is amazing. Um, all of these prompts are super, super relatable, especially for the time that we're in now. And something I didn't mention to you guys is this um, box is actually curated for the times that we're in now. So at the top, it says what's inside. It says, thank you so much for subscribing to our April 2020 stationary box. We hope you enjoy this work from home box we created just for you. So it's pretty cool because it's tailored to what we're all going through right now. So regardless on if I don't use the A5 planner or not, 
this is still something really good to use for any type of job or career that you're in. I mean, listen, even if you work like even if you work a job to you that's like super simple. So let's say you work at a gas station. You guys, my first job was a gas station and I loved it so much. I like miss it sometimes, it's really weird. Um, but yeah, so you can still use this for like your mindset for the day, which is great because you look at this and you're gonna be like, okay, so you kind of have a plan for the day. You, your mind is already thinking about these tasks for the day, but you can also think about, okay, cool. What do I have to do today at the gas station? Like what is the biggest thing that I need to do today? What is the biggest thing I need to do um, in the grocery store I work? What is the biggest thing I need to do as a nurse or even a mom today? Um, who am I looking forward to seeing or talking? Let's say if you're a stay-at-home mom and you want to look forward to talking to your friend on the phone after the kids go down for their nap or for dinner, you can always go ahead and look forward to that. So these are totally customizable to anything, career that you're in, any situation that you're in. Even if you don't have a job and you're a college student, like this is still amazing to have. So I think I'm going to incorporate this into where are you? My work planner, and if you guys want to see this, this is the Erin Condren Focus Notebook. It's a productivity notebook, and I'm gonna have a video all on this. But this, look at this, this fits, oh, it's like the same material. Um, this like fits perfectly, like right here. Okay, it's a little too long, but you know what, that's fine. I could even use this as a page marker for where I am in my book. So, although we have these little tabs here, I can put this for the morning before I start my shift, close it up, and there we go. Even though I do have these, but it's still okay. Um, so those are just some ideas that you could use this for again totally customizable for what you currently need really like this actually now this next item is something that I see people go insane for and I know that whenever they have it in stock it sells out so fast and I was excited for this but now I don't know what I'm gonna do with it this is the infamous inbox dashboard from obviously cloth and paper because this is a cloth and paper subscription unboxing so Basically, it's the exact same material that the morning mindset was. Let me read to you what it says for the inbox sheet. Um, inbox dashboard. So it says, check incoming tasks, messages, appointments, and items that need to be scheduled that are currently tentative. Specifically, items that we call your subject line tasks. So this is what it looks like. It has these at the bottom, which I never realized. I wonder if this is a new thing. I wonder if this is new. This is really cool. Okay, so yeah, it's just an inbox dashboard and basically what you do is you take, the idea behind this is you can take your sticky notes and you put them on there with things that you need to do for the day. And I've seen people that have sticky notes that say like important, memo, today, things like that. So um, what people do is they can take this and they can go ahead and try and find something to put it over for you. Uh, let me see. Let's see if I have something in here that I could use. Um, so let's say, let's use a pack page here. Let's say this is your planner and you want to put this there. So what you would do is you would have this here for the day or for the month and you can still see through and just see the word inbox there. So this is pretty, pretty neat. I'm gonna have to figure out how I could use this, if I can use it. If not, I'll probably just put it in the dash dash group or I could just save it. Oh my God, I'm such a hoarder. <laughs> or I can save it to see if I eventually want to do the system. But I also think that um, I could even coil clip this and put it into my Erin Condren. That could be a thought. Um, so we'll see what I decide to do with this. I do love it. Just I don't know how functional how functional it'll be for me um, like right now, if that makes any sense. So we'll see about this. But again, it's super pretty. I love it. The quality of the vellum is great. It's not flimsy. It's pretty. Um, it's stiffer than most vellums are. So we've got this guy here. Hey guys, so we have one final item, and this item is like the bigger item that was in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out of the packaging now. I really need to get better at taking off packaging before I film a video, but also taking photos before I start a video, but when the packaging is still on. But here is, oh my gosh, it smells like pineapples. Um, here is this beautiful thing here, and this is called the Undated Vertical Weekly Desk Pad. The description is, this no fuss desk pad is perfect for jotting down job specific tasks and can even double up as a mouse pad in a pinch 
It includes 52 sheets for a full year of planning. Okay, so at first glance, I love this. So I'm like, oh wait, I have something similar to this. Um, but honestly, you guys, there's something similar to this anywhere you go. Um, I basically kind of create my own weekly for work. Um, but I really like this because number one, it's undated. Two, it's black and white and super simple. And something else I like is that it has Saturday and Sundays separately. Most of these desk pads usually just have one that says weekend. So I really like this. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are nine lines in between each, which is really good for appointments, especially for the kind of work that I do, um, that I do as of now. You have the week at the top, and then I really like the top priorities. Um, this is going to be a game changer because if you have this on your desk, you can see it all of the time. And like, let's say it's Wednesday and you only did one of the two things. Like, oh, I should probably get two in because I have two days left. So I really like this here. Um, this little box here, I was thinking of putting like a fancy little quote, like maybe a sticker for some color or just finding a quote for the week that I wanted to incorporate. So this is the pad. There's 52 sheets in here, which is insane. The paper quality is really good. So I'm actually gonna compare it to an Erin Condren product that I have that's very similar to this, and you can see it up here in the corner. Um, this is the Erin Condren desk pad, and this one is the retro one, and you can see you have Monday through Friday, and then what I was saying is you have the weekend, and then you have this huge checklist here. So. For me, these will have two completely different uses. And so I used to actually use this to plan out my week for work. So I would keep all of my um, visits, my appointments, anything that had a specific time for work here. And then here I would keep a list of all of the reports I have to do, which are a lot of reports. Um, and I also did, you know, work on the weekend, so I would also do my weekend there. But um, at the time when I used this, I also didn't work on Mondays. So what I would do is I would put a piece of washi tape here, and I would just write um, something that related to an overall goal for work. Um, it could be, you know, writing down where I drove to, phone calls that I've made, things like that to document, to put into my online Outlook work calendar. So I really like this. And another thing that I like about this one is it has a perforated pages here. Um, so if you wanted to use this to create a meal plan and then rip this part out and go to the grocery store, you could totally do that as well. Um, this one is bigger than the cloth and paper one. It is the same width, but lengthwise the Erin Condren one is a little bit bigger. Um, this one's very minimal and to the point. And this one just has the fun, fun pops of color that sometimes with the work I do specifically, I just need that pop of color at my desk. So I have not used this one. I ripped out the page that I had here since um, September 2nd. So that shows that I don't really use the items that I have. And that's something I wanna get better at because I have these things that I like have all these great ideas to use for and then I just don't use them. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one here. But then if I keep this, I feel like I should give away this one. But then on the other hand, it's like I can literally use this for anything. Um, I can rip this out and I can, let me show you. I showed you guys what I'm gonna be using for work. So that's kind of a sneak peek into my next video that should be up soon. So I could literally take this, right? I can rip this out here rip this page out, write down all my appointments for the week, fold it up and literally put it into a page here or put it in the back. Or I can even put a pocket in here and just slide this paper in there. So this is really great for on the go, but I do work from home. I do work from home, not, every day I do some sort of working from home, whether it's doing some paperwork, phone calls, things like that. But now I'm really like at home at home. So this might be perfect for that time and just to keep everything super clean and organized on my desk. Like see how great that looks. Um, so this is really great. Uh, 52 pages for a whole week, that is amazing. Okay you guys, so I went ahead and laid out all the items here. Um, one thing I did wanna point out though, the further I looked at this um, little card that says what came inside. This card actually wasn't a freebie. It's the Van Gogh journaling card. It says add a little inspo to add to your planner dashboard or tack it up in your workspace. So this is what the card looks like. It's really neat. I really love the font that they use. I'm curious to know what font it is that they use. Um, I like it. It's super simple. I also love the bordering around it. Um, so yeah, that is what the card looks like when you get your um, subscription box. So with that being said, you guys, this is the April subscription of the cloth and paper subscription box. Um, I know they have like a couple different things that you could do. You could pay once, um, pay like not, 
I don't know if you're actually locked in month to month. I have to look into that. I don't think so. I think it's like it's one time and then if you want it again, you have to order it. I believe they have a three month and like a six month option. And let's say like, for example, for me, if I did have the three month option, um, which I didn't do, I just did the one time. Um, let's say if I did have that option though, um, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to use my rings. I can go ahead into the website and actually change um, like the format, the size that I want for um, that specific box. So yeah, you guys. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was super fun to film something that I enjoy to watch on YouTube. Um, and so yeah, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, you guys have a great night, day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.